Let me try something cinematic now. Just filling in the sides now. You can see the bicep pump from here, right? I'll give you a full punch up in a minute. Be the guy who embraces hard work. Not much that, isn't it? Yeah. Fueling up now, look. Fill her up. Fill her up, buttercup. Give it some juice. Best juice in the land. Neat whiskey. Moonshine. Juice. So do you want me to carry on now, yeah? Well, I've got the really jet washing, but I don't really want to use my jet washing. Why? Well, I'm thinking about seeing here, you know? Yeah. Uh, see all that? Yeah. All that mud is blocking the sensors. And it doesn't know. That one... Yes, yeah, so we could use their jet wash. The yeah, and on the back, it doesn't know. You've got to jet wash it all. Then to turn it, you know, yeah. jet wash the other side and all that. But I really wanted to do it in there because it's going to make a real muddy mess, isn't it? Yeah, and he said he... I skipped school today to go to work. Because why wouldn't you want money? School's terrible anyway. So, my brethren over there, yeah, he, um, he's going to go and load his lorry up with all the aggregate, all the ballast that I've made, which goes in there, stone sand equals ballast. I've got back and biceps at the gym after work as well today, and I don't know if my schoolmates will see me at the gym or the teachers, because it's a school gym. It's a nice day today as well, that's good. Not usually like this though, it's usually raining. UK weather is shocking, it's absolutely dead all the time. So, whilst my dad was filling up the telehandler with diesel, he told me I have to steam clean this trailer, wash this, buffer all the rust off it, to then paint it up black. I'll do a whole video on that next time. So stay tuned, all right? The thing is, working at a concrete company, all the time, cement and dust gets in your hair. No matter how short your hair is, you'll always get dust built up in your hair. If you look closely, 
with the wind, you can sometimes see this blow past you like it's, it's a cowboy movie where all the tumbleweed blows and blows and it just gets in your eye and everything. But you just have to be a man and toughen up. I'm always like this. So I need to start looking at the camera, all right? I don't know how Sam Sulek does it. This is behind the scenes of a video. He doesn't actually drive like that, but make sure you check in. After I've passed my GCSEs after school, I'll be driving that, and we've got a lot of good videos to come in, so stay tuned for that. Pump boys. I'm gonna do a concrete job in the lorry. I'll tap the container, ready to go. I don't have any bread, I don't have a sandwich today. Fine. Didn't want to make it. Yeah. Leaving the yard now. This road's chaos. We've arrived at the job. It's in a petrol station. It's just from the back of the petrol station. Look how tight it is between that car. Wow. Look at that gap. Look how tight it was. Is the driver gonna get back out? Put it down in the comments. to help guide him back. He is a good driver. I think that's half a meter. It's a really high cement content. That's why we're doing the job. This is what I mean. How all the dust that gets in your hair. That's why I'm always wearing a hat, but I don't have it today. Scraping the shoe out. That's what they sign after the job. Cheers, buddy. Right, you're fine. A bit tight. Look how tight it is there. Job completed. Yes! Next job. I'm out. You're trying to get you between those two. There are two drains. What right there? Okay, mate. This one's gonna be a hundred mil deep. I think this is the last job. There's dust everywhere. Dust absolutely everywhere, bro. Shoots out ready. Got the shoots on.
Let me try something cinematic now. Every time a gym rat sees his reflection. Wow! Heading off back to the yard now. I reno, brother! I reno, brother! My padre is just washing out the lorry so that. This concrete doesn't cement and ferment and attach to the auger because you don't want that otherwise we will not be a concrete company. Got the Union Jack behind me here. As I said um, here, got a lot of good videos coming so stay tuned for that. Pump Boys. About the Pump Boys. That video is going to come soon. All those videos are gonna come soon. I'm gonna be 17 in a few months because I'm just doing my GCSEs now. The only reason I wanna work hard on my GCSEs is so that I can get a place in college because I'm doing vehicle mechanics at college, but I'm not really that worried if I uh, if I fail or pass, to be honest. I just wanna make friends and all that, just have a laugh. But you have to stay in education till you're 18 anyway, so I may as well go to college and work a few days of the week from college at Concrete Man and then be doing that till I'm 17 and then I know I'm meant to stay in college till you're 18 but depending on how well it goes I might stay in college might not but if I don't I'll be doing the pump job every day so drop in the comments if you want me to be doing pump jobs every day it depends how the YouTube videos turn out Hopefully they're going to be good because the last ones were good. Go and check out the last pump jobs um, in my channel, the previous ones, because they were good. I was with my uncle back then. The pump jobs with my uncle. That went all right. But he's not with us anymore because it hurt his elbows and all that. He was just having a massive meltdown. But he keeps saying he wants to do the pump, but never actually does. He, he used to work in IT, that's why. He's not really that way around um, manual labour, but... It's alright. I really do prefer manual labouring jobs than office jobs because I really struggle when I'm in class and all that. I just struggle like using my mind. I'm not dumb or anything, it's just minus y, z, e plus, minus to the cube of x squared. I don't even know what you need that in your life for. It's just a joke. Why would you need that? Oh yeah, just applying for a job. What? What's the square room of the the time squared of the world well, why, why would you even need that times dividing and all that square root and all that why do you even need it like the perimeter I know you need the perimeter and all that to work out the cubic meters of concrete but some of it's a joke so yeah I'm meant to be knuckling down and doing revision every day after school but I'm always skipping it for the gym I skipped school today to go to work and the gym but because you would want to make money I'm trying to save up for a car for when I'm 17 I'm just gonna buy a battered piece of crap for my first car because I'm gonna rag it round and all that anyway my dad has just been um, telling me never drink drive never because never drink drive speed or uh, try and impress your mates he said the three things when you get your first car and I'm not going to do them because I need my driving license my whole life really for this company because when I'm 18 I'm going to be driving this lorry here HGV so I need it one thing I don't want to do when um, I start working all the time doing pump jobs is not eat enough because I'm trying to bulk up because I want a 100kg bench press by the end of year 11 and I'm certain I'll get it but that's not the point because mass moves mass and um, fat sort of padding on your muscles which I've learned and it you just feel a lot better you feel stronger and 
if I lose weight on the pump jobs, I'm going to be fuming. That's why I'm going to probably go do burger vans after the pump jobs and all that and just fuel up with the grease in the burgers, the exquisite burger sauce and all that because I'm a massive fan of burgers. Anything in a bun is so nice, I think. Because birthday cake, I'd prefer a burger. I'd prefer you to get a candle and stick it in a burger. That's sort of my preference. I love that. It's so anabolic as well. It's just, I hate vegans. I can't say that on YouTube because this, YouTube is going to kick me off for anything. So I've had loads of YouTube videos of me just chatting and they've been kicked off. But yeah. Pretty much after year 11, I'm going to be doing pump jobs and college. And maybe in the future, I'm going to do a bodybuilding show. But because I'm actually really interested in bodybuilding. Where Arnold Schwarzenegger says stuff like, yeah, I'm addicted to the pump and all that. I used to think, what is he talking about? But then as you get going, um, going to the gym all the time and you actually build a, a physique. Once you start growing, you know you can do more. You can grow more and more and more. If your program's working, I've started actually liking the gym. And re I'd say that only happened about a year ago where I started liking the gym because I had to build motivation beforehand. And now I just can't wait. I actually can't wait to do back and biceps in a minute. So I'll see you then. My first exam is biology, which is it's in a few days actually. I've got two weeks starting yesterday. So it's 13 days left after the day into my biology exam that's the first exam then i'm going to be on study leave it's biology then three days study leave and then exams blah blah, blah repeat some days exams are um day after day which is a bit annoying but for some reason it might be because i don't really care that much about my exams which i want to start doing i'm not saying that as it's a good thing at all i want to start caring about them like, I'm trying to do as much as I can to revise, but I can't really get my head around revising and all that. I've been watching YouTube videos of how, like, to partial GCSEs in five minutes, all of the information you need to know and all that. It does help, but I haven't actually revised. I do sessions at school. Instead of going to one lesson that I didn't like, the school made me do revision instead, which has really helped me. I do maths, revision, and sometimes English. I, it's, they're called support classes. I don't know if you have that in America or whatever. But it is a bit of a thing. But I just do it because I was behind in my maths and I need to pass maths and English. Maths and English are the two things I need to pass most. I don't really care at all about the other ones. Obviously, I'm going to do as much as I can to pass them. Because you need a grade 4 in maths and English to pass. And all my mates keep saying, oh, I'm going to need a grade 3 in college. But that's only for level 1. And I want to do level 2 course at college. So I need to get a grade 4 in English and Maths. But if I don't pass, I'm going to have to do them again. And that's what I don't want to do. Because I'll have to be doing, instead of two days a week at college and all the rest work, I'm going to be doing, like, five full-time at college. Because I need to always do the English classes if I don't pass English now and maths and maths classes so that's pretty much my life in the future in the near future and I am excited to do the pump um, videos because they'll be quite entertaining we just did a job then where the people working for them he was shouting at them and all that um, it gets the job done really after washing out which my dad's finishing off now I'll see you in the gym or might see you at the yard depends it's not even three o'clock yet it's 157 so a few minutes to two it depending on if I'm at home early or not I might um, stealthily do Rambo style and get to my school through the gates and all that and um, make my way through the battlefield to the gym because you may as well get it done and dusted just left my house now Got the protein, and I'm wearing the anabolic boots. They're pretty comfortable.
gym was packed today, so I couldn't film most of it. I did a few pump checks, but now, you, as you can probably tell, my arms are proper pumped from um, back and biceps. I tried to film a bit of back and biceps, but the gym was, was packed, because it's a school gym, the, um, the younger years were just messing about in there. But, yeah, I'll just make my protein shake now. Got this, and then the bottom bit, I always have protein, and then a bit of um, glucose in there to get the, the protein straight to the muscles. Then there's those 28 jumps. But, yeah, so far, good day. No one's in the changing room, that's why I am filming the video. <laughs> you can see the bicep pump from here, look. I'll give you a full pump check in a minute. I might have to turn the lighting down a bit. Let me just see if this looks good. Looks a little bit better, but nothing beats decent lighting. I'm gonna have to need. I'm gonna have to bulk up a bit more because I want the 100 kg bench press. Biceps are looking alright. If you look back at my old gym videos, I think I've grown massively compared to <coughs> last time. Good thumbnail there. All right, let's go then. As it was back day today, let's do a little back pose. The lighting might be bad, but it doesn't help. I don't know if I can actually do a lap. Um, back that spread. I can really like move the titties now, which is good. These boots, side view, they've actually um, been decent. I noticed a lot of support in them when I was um, doing back um, rows with the straight deadlift bar. I did about 40 kg, no, yeah, 40 kg, 220s on each, no, 60 kg actually, 220s on each side, plus the bar. There you have it, bled. Let's see what this cuts to. Alright, that's gym done. Gonna go home now, have a shower. Got a legs tomorrow, which is really good. My head teacher was just there. But just washed my gym ball out and it's starting to reek of mold it's not moldy but I've had this for ages and I if it's not broken why would you get a new one I've got a new one at home no pain no gain I really need to start bulking harder but where I'm always active it's quite hard every now and again I go to um, my shop get some food get burgers stuff like that back to school then for me tomorrow if you made it this far in the video, then I love you. And we've got some more content coming soon. Every week, at least one video. And I'll see you in the next one.